guys happy friday and welcome back to another weekend vlog it is later in the day it is 11 7 still morning time i am up i've been working since about eight o'clock this morning i had a really slow start uh <laughs> drinking that wine last night gave me a headache so yeah that's why i don't like dry ass wine but anyway that's besides the point but anyway so i'm up this morning I've been working. I'm actually sitting in my den. I don't feel like working in my office. I don't feel like working from my bed. So I was like, okay, we'll just go into the den. Oh, damn. I left the remote over there. And we'll watch TV and work from in here. I'm still doing some last minute shopping for our surprise trip in a couple of weeks. Um, I guess I can tell you guys, we're gonna, I have to get the kids luggage. They don't have a luggage. So I've been on Amazon trying to find luggage that will come pretty fast. So I really need to order something like soon, or I don't know, maybe I need to go in the store. I really just want to get them a luggage set because I'm hoping that this is the first of many trips that we would go on. Um, but we'll see. And they're supposed to be going on a trip, I think to Disney World with their dad. Um, I think he said they're flying, so they could use the luggage for that as well. They just don't have luggage. Um, so I need to get luggage, um, a luggage weigh thing. I'm trying to get the luggage that comes with like maybe a carry-on, a bigger one, maybe a tote bag or a book bag. Just something for them to, you know, be able to carry their stuff around in. Um, so I'm just looking into for something like that. Um, doing some last minute like, uh, what do you call it? Last minute like, uh, you know, knowing where we're going, um, knowing where we're parking when we're going to be leaving, when we're going to be coming, when of our little attractions that I've scheduled are going to be available. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a car service from the airport. It's, a, it's not expensive, but it's expensive. And I don't know if maybe I should pay for it or not. I feel like it would be a good thing because then I don't have to worry about trying to get to the hotel from the airport because they don't have a hotel shuttle from the airport. Most places go, I think last time we went, the hotel came and picked us up and brought us to the hotel and they took us to... Um, back to the airport but this hotel doesn't have one i guess i should have looked at that first right that would have helped um so i was trying to see if i'm gonna get a car service or a ride share or whatever so we'll see um what else mm, i think that was the main thing i think that would just be the easiest especially since our our travel plans are so early like ain't nobody got time at all but yeah, that's what I'm going through right now to see what I'm going to do. But let me just get back to work. I just want to check in with you guys. Also, I will have like a little dating update a little bit later. Um, so I'll fill you guys in. If you watched the previous vlog, you know the date went okay. Not, not the best first date in my opinion, but not horrific either. But, you know, we might be back to the drawing board, so... We'll just have to see. I'll keep you guys <laughs> in the loop. I'll let you guys know when I find out. So I'll just get y'all updated a little bit later. I got to finish up some work stuff. And then, you know, we'll chat a little later. All right, you guys, I'm back. So it is 4.13 and I am officially off of work. I just put my hair in a ponytail. It got wet and rain going to pick up Jalen child. And then, then this child told my mama, I left my iPad at school. We got to go back to the school. So I had to wear it all the way back to school. These children get on my nerves. And then guess who? <laughs> to talk about even more dating chronicles. Guess who currently texts me? The guy I told you that we was texting for a month. And he never asked me out on a date. He never called me on the phone. He just asked me how, hey, I hope all is well. Sir. You hadn't texted me in a week. Good day. I shall not respond. It ain't. There's something wrong with these folks. Something wrong with these people. But anyway, Jalen's getting ready for work. We're going to get ready to take her to work in a little bit. And then I might just pop into Publix and get me something to eat or stop at Milo's or something tonight because I just, I need me some comfort food. This shit don't got on my nerves. <laughs> and the vlog going to be late. I've. I've edited most of it, but not all of it. I'm just so tired, y'all. But I'm, I'm going to do it. It'll be it'll be up, but it's probably going to be late. So if it was late, I apologize. It is what it is. Um, and so I guess now I need to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow. 
since we're not going on a date night, maybe I'll take myself on a solo date night. Maybe I'll call my friend E and see if she wants to go to dinner. I tell you, people ain't shit. <laughs> they ain't shit. That's all. But any hoozy, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. I'll let you know what I got for dinner. Probably next time you see me, I'll be in my office editing the video for tonight. And then I'll probably come back and sit right back in this living room for the rest of the night. Like, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to chill. It's rainy, nice and cozy. You know, watch a movie, play on my iPad. Sounds real nice right about now. So, I'm here for it. But I'll check in with you guys later. Guys, I just dropped off Jalen. And I didn't realize, I forgot Milo's has new sandwiches now. They have like thick style burgers instead of their original burgers. Because when I get original burger, I used to just get the um, hamburger with no none of that sauce. But their like traditional burgers don't have sauce on it. So, I really like that. Um, so, they've expanded their um, menu. So that's interesting. But yeah, I just dropped Jalen off at work. I'm getting something to eat. And then we're going to go back. Oh, damn. We got to edit the video. I was going to say we're going to go back and get on the couch. But we're going to go back, edit the video in as quick as possible, and then get on the couch. Because <laughs> I am tired. I don't feel like doing nothing else tonight. So I'm currently listening to a new book that I just randomly picked off of the library website because it was available i hadn't like scoped out any new books to read this month i gotta start doing i gotta start making me a list of like books i want to read that sound interesting i've never heard of this author but it's mary kubica kubica k-u-b-i-c-a kabuka kabuka i don't know and the name of the uh book is called just the nicest people and it's basically about this lady who got into an argument with her husband and he left the house and then he never came back. And then her neighbors have something to do with it. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys because I don't remember if it says it in the synopsis uh, what was going on. So I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm currently reading. It's interesting so far. So we'll just see how this is going to go. Thank you. Six twenty-seven. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Y'all know I like going to Wendy's because they're least expensive. They're only like $5. But this Wendy over here lately has been just with the bullshit. Like, you go over there, take them all day to do your burger. They just be doing, they just not doing right over there. So, I haven't gone back over there since. Um, I don't understand why, how you can't make no burger right or get the orders right. Like, they was doing the most. Um, but, yeah. I want to check my sandwich before I leave. Let's see my they'll mess up and they'll put cheese on it even though you tell them not to and then I'll get home and be pissed so we need to make sure this doesn't have any cheese on it okay. yeah I have okay good it doesn't have any cheese on it so that's great but anyway I'm gonna finish listening to my book and I will see you guys when we get to the house like I said, most likely we'll be in my office eating and editing at the same time. It shouldn't take me that long. I'm almost finished editing. Um, anyway, I started yesterday, I believe. Um, and I didn't get to finish before I left out to go on the date. So, we will finish today. I will talk to you guys later. Good afternoon, you guys. Happy Saturday. So, it's 12 o'clock. Yes, I know. A little late to be starting out the day, but... I've been chilling all morning. It's a gloomy day. It hasn't been raining yet. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but it's going to be like super gloomy today. So I just lounged around in the bed, watched a couple movies, um, answered you guys' comments. What else did I do? Did some, re some more research on the surprise trip. I need to start getting my budget to see how much money I've spent so far. Jesus. Um, then I got up and did like my skincare routine i just washed my sheets i'm about to stick them in the dryer i'm just sitting here on the couch 
The sun keeps going in and out, so I don't know how crazy it's going to be looking today with the weather. Um, I'm just sitting on the couch, so I guess it's official that we're not going out on a date tonight. I haven't heard back from the guy. It's very disappointing. I thought he was a really good guy. He had good conversation. Seemed to be genuine, but to get mad about me not wanting to kiss you on the first date is, I guess, a red flag, huh? Yeah. So, no date tonight. We'll be at home chilling by ourselves, as usual. What else is new? I did take out some chicken. I'll probably air fry some chicken wings later for dinner. Take out maybe my Brussels sprouts or some sweet corn or something to go with it. Um, I don't really have any plans today. I don't think there's going to be a video tomorrow on Sunday. I'm really tired and burned out and I don't have any video ideas for my Sunday videos. I think we're just going to skip this Sunday. I think it's just, it's going to be what it be. Unless I can think of something quick to pull out of my hat that's easy to record, then maybe, but it's a slim chance. I'm about 99.9% .9 sure. There's not going to be a video tomorrow, so I apologize. I just, I can't do it. I don't have anything. And I don't feel like thinking of nothing, <laughs> as y'all can see. Sorry for the shaking. I have, like, y'all prop between my bed and my couch because I don't feel like holding the camera. Um, but, yeah, I've just been listening to some cold train this morning while I was cleaning up my room. I still need to fold those clothes. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it, duh. But I did like hang up some clothes that need to be hung up. Y'all see that little stupid rack is still there. Ain't moved it yet. Supposed to did that last week. Um, but yeah, I think today is going to be a really chill day. I'm still sleepy, you guys. But Jalen wants to go to Walmart before she goes to work to kind of get whatever she's going to get together when she do his so-called YouTube channel. So let's see if she goes spend all her money if she actually is going to do something. Oh, that child mine so inconsistent but can't do nothing about it but anywho i just came to check in with you guys that's what's going on at the moment so i'll talk to you guys later All right, guys it's 7 20 and i'm up from my nap i actually got up because Jalen's prom dress was delivered today i'm super excited i pray it fits lord jesus please let this dress fit so when she get home from work tonight, we'll try it on. Uh, guess I can show you guys what it looks like. She's not gonna get the full effect until she's all dressed up with it. But it's a royal blue color. I think I told you guys already. Uh, and we did get it off Amazon, but it's really good fabric. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's like a one shoulder and it's a royal blue color. And it's long and it kind of like has a like a mermaid little train thing or something in the back, child. Don't make me lie. And then it's like a little ruching in the front or something or whatever it is. And like I said, it's one shoulder kind of form filling bledles out. And it has the one shoulder with like the big ruffle. So let us pray it fits because we've been waiting on this one um, for a minute. And I hope they did what I told them to do. So that is the dress so i'll have her try it on when she gets home from work tonight um she's gonna be super excited i know she is because we was hoping it would come early and not as late because the latest it could have come was like the 22nd because i think we're gonna have to get it altered so i wanted it to come as soon as possible so that's perfect i think i'm going to make me a salad tonight because the chicken is still not thought out I'm tired of waiting. So we're just gonna take that little salad mix that I like to get from Publix. It's the Little Salad Bar Sweet Kale Chopped Salad Kit. And it has green cabbage, green leaf, lettuce, kale, red cabbage, carrots, and green onions. And then it has dried cranberries with roasted pumpkin seeds. But it comes with the poppy seed dressing, which has milk in it, dairy, so I don't really use that one. And then we're just gonna take a couple of our little chicken strips here and um go ahead and um chop them up and then y'all know i love italian dressing if i don't have italian i'll have balsamic but i don't have any balsamic right now so i'm just gonna get me a nice little bowl and we're going to warm the chicken up in it i'll probably get me let's see how big of a bowl this one works 
I usually just like to use one of my little Tupperware bowls. And the bad thing is I haven't eaten. Well, I've eaten today, but I've not eaten real food. <laughs> I've had like sunflower seeds and what do you call it? Peanut brittle. Yeah, no, not a real meal. Not a real meal, I know. But anyway, let me make that right quick and then I will check in with you guys a little bit later. You guys, so the dress fit, we will not have to get it altered. It's so pretty. Turn around. We didn't do it all the way in the back yet, but it zips up and then we have to do like the little strings. I don't feel like doing all the damn strings tonight, so we're not going to do it. It has the one shoulder, like I said, and then it has the boning here so she don't have to worry about anything if it's a little big, but it'll be all right. It covers up with that and then it goes all the way down. It's so pretty. Yay. And the shoes that she have will go perfect. The little silver mm -hmm. shoes. She's going to do silver accents with it. Mm -hmm. So we need to get her like a bracelet. She don't need to wear a necklace because it doesn't matter. But she does need like a little bracelet. Um, And she has her shoes. So we'll probably get her auntie to get her things. Put it down. We don't want to wrinkle it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was hoping they didn't lie to us and send us some different fabric than last time. Uh -huh. But yeah, it looks really good, y'all. She's gonna look really pretty when the day comes. Well, She's like feeling herself. Up for a fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> he could be in a fashion show. Mm -hmm. Yay. You like it? Yes. I'm I'm really glad that it actually fits. Cause I was really worried it was gonna be too big. I was too I was worried it was gonna be either too be big mad. or too little. <laughs> The eight fits perfect, man. They wrong for this size in China, baby. China know they size and be off. Man, yes. I don't even wear no eight for real. Mm -mm. But whatever. We don't have any stretch either. So but we're going to get some pictures because she wanted some pictures. So yes, I, can I told you guys I'll show you the dress and there goes the dress. So that's all y'all going to get. You have to wait till prom to get the full effect. Yes. <laughs> and that'll be in it'll be next month, right? Yep. Next month. Next month. So mm -hmm. until next month. Yep. Good afternoon, you guys. Happy Sunday. Yes, I'm on here super late. I told you guys I wasn't going to be doing that much this weekend, and I meant it. So I'm currently in my den. I just dropped Jalen off at work, um, so it's like 2-something. And I'm about to watch me a movie on Tubi. <laughs> and I'm here in my den. It's actually a very pretty day. It was really nice driving Jalen to work. It's sunny. I think it was like 61, so it felt really, really good. Um... And you guys know I thrive off of sunshine, but we're still not going to do anything today. We're just going to watch movies and sit on the couch and I'm going to play in my little digital planner um, or whatnot. I did just make me some popcorn and I have some leftover McDonald's drink from last night. Got the TV over there and then my little window here is where all the light is coming from in my den. And I'm just on the couch with some blankets and I am chilling waiting for the 2B app to come up. That's what I'm doing right now, you guys. I'm chilling. I am feeling a little sort of kind of way about the guy not working out. That's one thing I tell you guys about being open to dating. I'm not going to say that I'm hurt, but I am disappointed and it does bother me a little bit that he acted that way. But you can't um, control how people act. But it's very disappointing. Very disheartening. Very disappointing. And it's very hard to be open enough to move forward after just one little thing you bailing out. But that's a good thing because at least he didn't leave me on the act of food. So I guess that's a good thing. Uh-oh. I guess that's a good thing. But... It still bothers me a little bit. So I've been kind of kind of down this weekend. But no fault of my own. Just how I'm feeling. That's why I said there's one thing about dating you guys. You're definitely going to open yourself up to people who are not worthy. And you know it can dredge up old wounds. Oh my gosh. It will dredge up like old wounds and thoughts and things like that but you have to move past it but i've just been chilling this weekend because i'm just like Ugh, let me get mentally prepared to try to meet somebody else to potentially have the same thing happen but we're not gonna give up we're not gonna beat ourselves up because somebody was a jerk but i just want you guys to know what headspace i'm in so i'm kind of like chilling laid back kind of feeling some type of way but we're gonna get our lives together just be honest okay That's what we're doing. 
eating popcorn and a sweatshirt on the couch while we watch a movie so i'll check with you guys a bit All right, guys, it's 7 o'clock. Oh, I need to fix my clock in here. It still says 6. Um, it's 7 o'clock, so I'm about to go ahead and start cooking my chicken. Y'all, I literally have no energy. I don't know what's going on with me. Well, I do know what's going on. I need to get my damn B12 shot. <laughs> Haven't gotten it this month, but we're just going to make... Some chicken legs I took out last night and I didn't cook. So I'm just gonna open these up and get them rinsed off and seasoned up. really just been chilling this weekend um i haven't been doing much as you guys saw um i just been watching movies catching up on a couple of shows listening to my new audio book which i love it's actually really good i told you guys it's called um dang what it's called that's bad i can't remember what it's called it's basically about this lady who got in a fight with her husband and then her husband doesn't come home and her neighbors know something about it. But I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Um, what is it called? Dang, what's it called? Oh, just the cutest couple or something like that. The cutest couple, the nicest couple, something like that. Um, it's really good. I like it. Let me rinse this off right quick. I'll be right back. Y'all know I use the same seasonings for everything. Seasoning, salt, Lowry's is the best, of course. Garlic and onion powder, oregano and parsley, and black pepper. To me, it's the simplest, so I like it that way. But yeah, what did you guys do this past weekend? Um, after you're watching this, do y'all just have ever have moments where you just want to chill? I feel like I have more moments now where I just want to chill and I don't really want to go out or be out. Um, it's crazy. It's like the older I get, the more I be trying to stay in the house. <laughs> I need to do better. Cause like I said, if I'm going to be dating and have some prospects, I need to actually go some damn where to actually meet people besides on an app. Right. But I'm a creature of habits, and this has been a habit that I've had for a long time. I've never been somebody who liked to go out or be out and in in, out and about and into everything. I've always been more of a homebody. And it doesn't help that I live far out from the city as well. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> Maybe if I live closer to stuff, I would actually go out more. Which might be a bad thing. You might not need to live no closer. The more you go out, the more money you spend. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know. <laughs> the more you go out, the more money you spend. But yeah, um, so, y'all know I got this air fryer for Christmas. And I love it because it's the dual one. And I can cook the everything twice as fast because I don't have to wait for one batch to get done to do another batch. So it's been really working out good for my life. I usually put about three pieces in here on each side and I cook it for like 45 minutes um, just to make sure it's done all the way through. Ain't nobody got time to play them games. But yeah, uh, so Jalen is really excited. What did they spill on my chair? Like that's what I said, they spill something all over this chair and instead of wiping it up, they just leave it there. The things that mama have to do, right? Can I fit four pieces in here? Oh, I might could put four in here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we'll do four then. And we'll still do 45 minutes and then we'll check on it to make sure it's done or whatnot. It's got a lot of feathers still left on it. Um, so 
But yeah, we'll do that and then I'll have one batch left when this gets through cooking. All right, you guys, so the chicken is going. Like I said, I'll probably make some kind of vegetable with it, some Brussels sprouts or some sweet corn. I still have, I don't know if this squash and zucchini is any good. I had it from when we went on the trip. Or this asparagus. I don't think they're any good. They might be, though. We'll see. Maybe I can saute up some asparagus when the first batch gets done, while the second batch is cooking. And then we'll have that. I need to figure out what I'm going to do to my hair tomorrow. Like, I really need to braid my hair up or I need a relaxer because my hair is just unruly. I'm like almost six months post and it's just acting real crazy. I don't know what's going on with it, but it ain't acting right. <laughs> I'm not used to this tomfoolery. But I'm going to get back to watching my movie. And um, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys. So, Denter is a ready. A little late it's 8 35 but it is what it is here we go so chicken legs and brussels sprouts <laughs> i know y'all gonna say so don't say nothing about how i was cooking at the cabin okay this is what we got today this is what we got chicken legs and brussels sprouts my favorite i love some good steamed brussels sprouts so freaking good but yeah i'm about to eat And then we'll chill out. Sorry for the smacking. I know I'm smacking. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. We'll chill out and we'll go um pick up a ham. I have got to figure out why I'm not eating. Like, it never crossed my mind today that I didn't eat until just now. Is that sad? That's sad. Yeah, because what I had this morning. Nothing. Nothing. Dang, I gotta do better. Just saying. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, my hair look a mess. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for tomorrow at work. I'm gonna be looking like a crazy person. I don't even feel like going into work tomorrow. I feel like calling in. We ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna do it. We're going on vacation like two more weeks, Kios. You can, you can thug it out. <laughs> I'm gonna try to thug it out, you guys. I'm gonna try to thug it out. <laughs> for sure. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> um.